Alright, so if you watched my Tuesday video, you're going to notice that I mentioned something called trusting. I am here today to teach you guys how to trust. So, have your kitchen twine. Have my chicken bread. So I kind of like to turn it to the side and just kind of stuff it in there. Kind of close it a little bit. Just, I mean, you know, sometimes things falling out is inevitable, but this is meant to keep it to a minimum. So see how I just stuffed some of it back in there? It looks kind of closed. You have some coming out, but I took the trust in this one. So now that it's kind of on its side, you're gonna take your twine and put it underneath. Then you're just gonna make a basic knot. So you're gonna take it and make a basic knot. Like that, just a regular knot. After you've made your knot, you're just gonna wanna pull your string straight up like this, so just straight up. And then you're gonna take these two fingers, your thumb and your pointer finger. And you're gonna put your thumb and wrap this around your pointer finger. So it's straight up, thumb, push, then wrap. Then you're gonna pull your hands up so there's like this extra right here. So you have it like that. So it's pull, thumb, wrap, thumb, then wrap. You're gonna pull it and then grab your chicken. And loop it through. Then you're gonna to wanna to adjust your strings and pull. So now you have this one again. I'm gonna show you how to that again. So you pull it up, right? Thumb, wrap, pull. So it should look like a little oh no. So it's thumb, wrap, then over. And you pull it down to lower than the loop before it. And make sure you're pulling it tight, but not too tight, because you still want your chicken to be able to get a nice sear on the sides. And just to close that flap. So here we go. This one's a little bit faster to see how it should look when you pick it up a little bit. And then I'm going to do another slow one for you guys. So. so pull, straight up, thumb, wrap, over. Now, I know some people might do it a little bit differently, but that's just always been the easiest way for me to do it. And once you do it enough times, you kind of get in a rhythm. So, you know, don't be frightened by the fancy way you're doing. And just also make sure you're stuffing this nicely. But yeah. So, I'm gonna do one last one, and then we're gonna finish it off. You want to keep doing this until you get to the bottom. Like I said, make sure that it still has room to sear on the sides. And then after you do that, you're going to pick it up and flip it over. But you want your string to still be there. So I just picked it up, picked it up, holding my string, flipped it over. Then you're just going to put your string straight back. So, straight back. Then flip it back over so now that your string is at the bottom. And you remember that knot that we made at the beginning? Well, you should have had some excess string right here. And then you're just going to go ahead and tie that in a knot and cut. So now you have a beautiful trust chicken breast.